heard about this film before, but you should. It's actually pretty darn good. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am doing a Blu-ray review of Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. What? Yeah, you probably haven't heard of it, it's because it's by Europa Corp. It was a film, a French film, that was released last year, and it got a U.S. distributor and had a very, very limited theatrical release uh, in September in the United States. Didn't go to Arizona, unfortunately. Whatever. But we had a review copy sent to us by Shout Factory, so I get to check it out and let you guys know how it is. So Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart tells the story of a young boy named Jack, who the day he was born was the coldest day on Earth. And so he's born with a frozen heart, and the midwife, who's very uh, inventive in her own way, she cuts out his heart and instead replaces it with a cuckoo clock. Now that's great and all because now he has a heart that beats, but there's some limitations. One, he can't get too excited. Two, he can't get too angry. And the most important of all, he can never fall in love. Basically, I think you know where this is going. When he's 10, he's finally allowed to go outside and see the world, and he meets a young girl who he instantly falls in love with. She's the apple of his eye, and he wants nothing more than to be with her. Uh, but unfortunately, that causes some problems with the heart. Uh, so he gets whisked back inside. So Jack, you know, he goes back, he can't find her. But in the meantime, he convinces the midwife, who's his sort of adopted mother, um, that he needs to go to school because he needs to learn how to handle and control his heart so when he goes into public that he can, you know, manage it. Oh, going to school with a bunch of bullies is a great way to test out the limits of your heart. Right. At first glance, you think the animation is stop motion, and the animation itself, uh, because it's not, you know, the highest quality, the biggest budget, it has some limitations, but it's still very pretty to look at. The animation is actually very staccato in a way, the way that stop motion is, instead of super fluid, but I liked that. I thought the way that they, you know, there was one scene where there was frost going up on, you know, some cabinetry, and it was just really cool how staccato and crisp kind of the movements were. And I actually think that this the disadvantage, I guess, of budget really played to this film's advantage because it looks good. This film looks different than other animated films. The characters themselves, their faces are very porcelain-like. Um, they don't have a lot of wrinkles and, and really expressions. I mean, when they're talking, they're almost very monotone in how they talk. And I don't know if that was limitations of just the models or, or whatnot, but you don't see a lot of like squash and stretch in the face at all. So I think in that way it's kind of limited because they are so kind of like just to the point delivering their lines, there's no emotion when they're talking. Um, but you get, you get over that. It, you, that's definitely a stylistic choice I think that they chose to go with. So this movie, like I said, it, it's very experimental. It's almost surrealist in a way where there's gonna be certain scenes where just crazy stuff happens. There's one scene where Jack's soul comes out of his body. There's another one where this girl, he has sort of this like dream where she becomes like a fairy and she's like going inside his heart and then she multiplies. So it, just be aware of that. It's just, it's going to explore different themes and, and ways to express emotions. And these usually happen during emotions where his, his senses are heightened. So he's either really excited, really sad, whatnot, and that's when he kind of goes into this dream state. Interesting, very interesting. So Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart was actually based on a book and a concept album by a band called Dionysus. All right, quick wardrobe change. I actually, after I filmed this video, I changed for work and I was walking my dog and as I was walking my dog, I realized oh, the music, I forgot to talk about the music. Just bear with me one second while I talk about it. So the music was one of the original pillars that got this film started. There was the book and then there was the concept album. So the music is actually really important to the narrative and it's really interesting because I was watching some of the bonus features and these were songs that were written by a rock band and there, there is footage of this band performing with thousands of people and he's singing these songs. He's singing, the day I was born was the coldest day on earth. And the people are cheering and they're so excited. It's just kind of bizarre to me because I only know these from the animated film. But overall, the songs are very modern and indie and they work really well. They're very humble, they get stuck in your head. And I thought that it just gave the film a really unique, you know, feeling because it has sort of this like, 
I don't know, very modern score and, and songs with it. That being said, there were a few songs that really felt out of place that I don't think they necessarily needed. And mostly they were when, you know, Jack, he kind of has a soft, very, you know, solemn voice, but then his singing voice, at least in the English version, was very powerful. And, and at times it felt like the singing voice when he was singing was just so strong, it was like another person. Um, and so in those moments, I was kind of distracted, and I thought maybe that they should have just done like a, a voiceover singing. Um, but overall, the music was great. I tried looking for the soundtrack, actually, and normally I'm never really one to spend money and look for the soundtrack, but I was interested in the soundtrack and I couldn't find it, so bummer. All right, back to our regularly scheduled review. So speaking of the bonus features, um, there are a decent amount. They have basically character profiles for each of the main characters. These last between three and five minutes long. You just get to see the, the filmmakers describing further in detail about the characters, a little bit about why they chose to do certain things. You see concept sketches, you see, you know, rough animation. It's interesting and you definitely break down each of the characters. And the last one is called From Book to Screen and it's basically the making of, um, it's very short, I would say, you know, 10-ish minutes but it gives you how they originally came across this book and this album from this rock band, like so bizarre, um, and how ultimately they converted that into a CGI animated film. So the bonus features aren't like completely out of this world amazing, but they are there, which is really great. They're in French with English subtitles, um, and sometimes it gets kind of confusing because there's songs playing in the background and they'll be translating the songs, but they don't have the little, you know, music notes next to it so you can differentiate between the person who's talking and the song that's playing in the background. So at, at times you kind of have to really pay attention to what's happening, but uh, other than that it's really great, so I liked learning a little bit more about how this film was made. Alright guys, I'm going to give Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart three and a half stars. I was really impressed and I really got into this movie once it started going. It, it's an interesting concept and that's what animation is great for. I love, you know, these stories that are able to be told in animation. I like seeing smaller studios put out very imaginative work and this is definitely one of them. And they took risks here and unfortunately it didn't get a full U.S. release. I really would have liked to have seen how U.S. audiences reacted. But nonetheless, we do get it on Blu-ray, so I'm going to give that three and a half stars. And then the bonus features, I'm going to give them two and a half. I mean, they're basically what was left over from the French release of this film, just, just translated. Alright guys, let me know what you think of Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. Do you think you're going to check this out? If so, be sure to go to our Amazon affiliate link. This is where you can buy the Blu-ray, or even just rent it if you're interested. You go to rotoscopers.com slash jackblu-ray and you can find everything there. All right guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more amazing Blu-ray reviews. I have a ton in the other room that I'm just trying to get to as fast as I can, so be sure to subscribe because they're gonna be coming at you really quick. Thanks for watching, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.